In this video, we're gonna talk about how to fix a mouthing behavioral issue and how to teach focus and self-control. She mouths a lot, you know? Yes, good. There you go. And she's Sit. very, very driven by treats. Sit. So. Yes, very good girl. You just need a little self-control work, right? She does like to mouth you so, doesn't she? Yeah. And you have no excuse anymore. All your adult teeth are in. Yeah. It's almost like the mouthing when she gets frustrated too, like sassy mouthing. Mm -hmm. So you want a quick response from her no matter what. So her name should be a command to focus. And I always say, if you were to teach your dog one thing, it should be focus. If you always had her focus like this, you can get her to do anything and you can prevent her from doing anything. And that focus aspect is so lacking. My next rule then is to not overlook when she is behaving. So when she does go and get a toy instead of your wrist, praise her, praise her, praise her. What's gonna be huge with the mouthing and it seems kind of funny is when she does go and mouth something that she's supposed to, praise her for that. When she does just come up and like lick your skin, praise her for that that's something that's so overlooked typically puppy mouthing you say no don't bite on me this is what you bite on with her her mouthing is not just like puppy mouthing not knowing what she's supposed to chew on i'm sure she knows at this point what i see it as is more of just a self-control issue like she's getting so excited around you so she's like I don't know what to do except for mouth you, which is why I keep redirecting her to the sit to sit. When she's sitting, she's not mouthing on me. So one, if you're playing with her, you know, and she's mouthing, you can always redirect her to the toy. Don't become immune to it. And even if it doesn't hurt, act like it does. So make that quick response to it because she needs to know that, um, just hands, your clothes, that is totally off limits. And I'm sure you can tell when there's like a buildup of excitement, you know, and she might start mouthing, she might start yeah. just jumping up, getting a little out of control. Direct her to sit before that. Mm -hmm. Because I always use this scale. Here's right now when she's focusing and sitting, she's at full self-control. The more excited a dog gets, the excitement builds, the further from self-control they are. So what we want to do with redirection is keep her right here all the time. I am a huge advocate for treats, treats, treats in the beginning stage of training okay. to make the dog do it, make her think sit needs a treat, make her motivated to do it, and then we'll wean off of the treats in the right way so that her same focus um, is ingrained whether you're holding a treat or not. All the way? Yes, there you go. And down would be the ultimate goal because when she has to go down, it's complete self-control. So sometimes if sit isn't enough, um, we want her to go down. And we're gonna talk about like getting her to hold positions too because that's another thing that I'm huge about, just the well-behaved aspect. Sit should mean basically you sit and be patient right there. Yes, that was really good. So the more that you practice this, the faster and faster she is going to respond to that command, as long as you're only saying it once. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning to break that stubbornness, it does take patience. 